Good evening guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those charts. Um, so Bitcoin on the four hour first. Um, yeah, you can see we are still, we're still within the pennant. Um, our slightly adjusted um, pennant. We have had a nice bounce off this um horizontal 10,400 level we were looking at this morning um coming up on a um on a four hour nine as well um so um in in true td fashion could we get like a little pull back into the trend line again um, and then um get a nice bounce up off this four hour nine it is definitely possible um what is um what is good to see is that we basically did we stopped the bleed today as it as it were um we have not taken out this low um and we are we are making we are making attempts making attempts to um try and get back above this um this support level well resistance level now old support level important level um and yeah if we get back above there um and we start to get to the top of this pennant we could look good for a break to the top of the pennant obviously the market is throwing everything it can at us at the moment literally everything it can we've got um oil selling off um giving us um a deflationary impulse we have um obviously um the leader of the free world um and his missus and his bird getting ill um we have obviously um the leader of our um of our crypto of our crypto scam exchange world um mr mr hayes um well and and i say he's indicted i don't know either way they're after him um and they have arrested his 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 buddy um the cto so yeah we've got a lot of um, a lot of bad things um um potential second wave uh well not a potential a second wave basically um confirmed in europe um will that hit the us um we'll have to um see um reports are that it is basically um there is obviously a, there is a, a big up tip in cases in new york um so yeah that is not looking good um <laughs> so we have got a lot of negativity at the moment um but often when you get a lot of negativity that means um that means obviously the next the news can't be as bad so maybe it is always darkest before dawn so we'll have to see ever, ever the optimist over here although um you guys in my telegram group would probably have heard now we were talking i was talking about a 40 percent chance um of a deflationary environment and um, going into q4 um that was that rose up to 43 percent and now it is um it is in the mid 50s now um so it actually is the more likely scenario now for q4 which we are in so that is obviously um the percentage chances doesn't have to necessarily work out that way but we are getting i mean the rate of change we are basically heading towards that so um and that's that basically that will be bad for commodities it will be bad for stock markets it will be bad for it'd be bad for everything it'd be bad for bitcoin the only thing it won't be bad for is um treasuries um which will be a buy i.e the yields will go lower um and the dollar which will uh which will strengthen um so um they they are the only things they are will be the only things available so um yeah um we are potentially going to hit that environment and um yeah if we do markets um main main, mar main markets will price that in a bit too uh, obviously we'll always price that in too slowly or they always price the changes in too slowly um and then they'll try and rush um for the exit door at the same time um there was also something else i wanted to say on that note which um um I, i've forgotten what it is now um i have forgotten um yeah also um some interesting theories um i'm hearing out there from um well um actual credible um people so by credible doesn't mean they know anything it just means it's not just loonies generally talking rubbish um but like just saying that um it would it would work um for it would work quite well for Trump if he was faking um, this um, this um, this ailment that he has because um, he is, um, by all accounts, um, falling behind in polls or falling behind or behind in polls. Um, so this could garner him some goodwill. Also, um, I'm not saying this is the Democrats on the whole, but there is the um, there is a vocal fringe left um, element um, associated with the Democratic Party that are obviously wishing him ill um and that will um i think i feel that will backfire on them um because i feel that will um that will um 
push more moderate people towards um basically um, basically voting for him it's quite simple as that really um so i am currently i am i'm i'm quite outspoken and vocal on facebook so as a result of that i'm actually banned at the moment because i always pick up these 30 day bans or seven day bans so i'm currently under a ban um and today would be one of those days where i have a lot of people on my facebook that are but literally saying they're they're glad they hope he dies and um and i just kind of want to tell them that look um you might not like him but um this is the exact response that you're doing that is going to help him potentially get um win re-election so um you need to think about what you're doing really uh, but these people don't think about what they're doing um and they can't control themselves in much the same way lots of us can't control ourselves at various various in various ways vocally and at times um so hey um right that is uh <laughs> that is enough of that and let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at some bitcoin so yeah i mean I'm, we've looked at the four hour um we are basically bouncing off this uh, trend line looking to try and regain this support level so well let's go and have a look at some major markets um not neo which incidentally if we look at it on the four hour um um yeah is um it's just hovering there and it's four hour nine so it, I, I didn't mean to show this it's just because it was on my this was on this chart from this morning um, so let's go and have a look at how our good old um, S&P is doing. Um, so it is, it is it is trying to mount a recovery. It is trying to mount a recovery, but um, it needs to uh, make progress above this high here. Otherwise, it's going to clearly look like a head and shoulders. Um, but yeah, if we can do, it will look good. If we because this will obviously be high, higher, high, low, lower, low. If we can make it above here, above uh, three thousand four hundred. If we can climb this wall of worry. Um, and then we, um, <clears throat> I think we'll be quids in and this market will be, uh, we'll keep going to the upside. Um, NASDAQ obviously pulling back from its, um, um, well, the level we got up to <laughs> around that, um, around that four hour nine. Um, but yeah, pulling back today, obviously today is a down, down day for markets. Um, the dollar index though, interestingly, no real, um, no real flight into the dollar index, into the dollar. Uh, I mean, in the context of what's going on here. This could this looks like a bear flag, um. So yeah, we're gonna break down. We're gonna break down for this bear flag. But we're gonna break down from this bear flag. Um, I'll just put ourselves a little downward, um, down, uh, well, upward sloping, but um, below the price action, uh, trend line in here. And obviously, if we break this, expect more downside. Yeah, we've got a big arrow drawn here, haven't we? Um, that was my um, that was my guess. We'll see what happens. See what happens there. Um, but yeah, um, realistically, um, this um is not necessarily looking as bullish as we were and, and like i said i think we'll play out this range a bit test here then eventually lose that level um but obviously there is now an increased chance that, that isn't what's happening and the dollar is going to go up so um obviously part of this is the chicken and egg um feeding through into statistics into mo pricing into models not pricing models into predictive models um and obviously as this just go up as as oil does go down as stock markets do look weaker that all feeds through into basically what would be the regime that uh, results in more of that similar price actions as you can see that can be a self-fulfilling prophecy but at the moment obviously it's coming down um so if that keeps coming down then we will be we'll be <laughs> opting for the um, mid 40 percent chance to stay in the regime that we're in of dollar weakness um and risk assets up um ethereum us dollar um yeah fully um fully bounced off that off that trend line um and yeah looking to well looking to try and hold this support if it doesn't hold this support this is the um the dollar pairing if it doesn't hold this support um well we've got well, I don't know if you really want to properly, you can call this a trend line. It could potentially get supported here. Um, and yeah, we'd have to watch that because that would be a lower low, lower relative to here, relative to here. So could start to look a bit dicey. The particularly um, more dicey looking pairing is this one, the Satoshi pairing. Um, so yeah, this has similarly got to um, got to met sta um, stage a recovery and get back above this um, trend line. Bitcoin dominance, not too sure about looking at the moment because obviously it's been a bit obviously as you can see there but yeah i mean clearly it is moving up also getting hit more than btc as as one would expect um over to um silver silver hanging in there though hanging in there um it is hanging in there so um is it gonna make more progress to the upside or is it going to um is it going to roll over i mean again it depends whether we go into this um this um deflationary or we stay in this reflationary environment um in going into what well, we're in basically q4 um and then gold um gold um yeah holding above 1900 um so 
Obviously, it's got its 4 hour 9 trading sideways to down off. But if we gain this horizontal, start to push up, um, this could start to look pretty good. And gold silver ratio got that, um, got that good old, um, um, a seven handle, 70 handle again. Uh, well, 79, but in the 70s handle. So, yeah, we're going to get rejected from this trend line and come down. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll have to um, keep an eye on that. Um, so, um, yeah, that was it for the other markets, the other world markets. Um, back over to Bitcoin and we'll have a look at what those stokes are doing. But um, obviously, we knew they were looking pretty bearish this morning. But yeah, four hour pretty beaten up. So, is this going to, can this get us back above um, 10,600? I mean, cl clearly, if it gets back up to the bullish zone, even just the bullish zone, let alone up to here. Um, we will be above 10,600, but obviously if we don't, we keep selling off. We'll just be, we'll be getting pinned down here. Um, 10 hour, obviously turned back down. Um, 12 hour coming down pretty strongly. Um, 12 hour, the cheat code is all we needed to look at was the 12 hour. Um, daily turned back down and looking like it's going to come down as well. Two day flipping over, three day um, flipping over. Not as, not as convincingly as they were this morning though. Um, but um, yeah, obviously these markets... Um, these markets are clearly not looking not looking the hardest at the moment. But um, we had a period when we were looking at the hardest at 10K and we managed to hold that, put in a nice higher low, um, pump, back, pump back up. And then if we can put in a lower around this level, even if we play out sideways under this 10,600 until we get the, um, the impetus to break up, then, um, then yeah, we should be fine. Also... Um, yeah, the stimulus. We have there's obviously sticking points in the stimulus. Um, the main one being, I think, 500 billion that the um, Democrats want to basically rebuild Democrat cities, that uh, Democrat mayors, and um, basically let crazy Democrat um, people um, burn down. Um, so obviously the Republicans are like point blank, no, we are not going to give you that money to rebuild your cities. That is your own fault. Deal with it. Um, and yeah, potential sticking point, but um, we'll have to see what happens there um, because um, obviously things are looking dicey in these markets. And you know, Trump's a market man. Um, ba basically, within now and now and um, the end of basically the voting process, if these markets don't um, don't start to look better. Um, it, it, it singly, singly basically makes a big difference to um, it makes a big difference to um, the re-election, the re-election campaign. Um, so obviously, um, it is going to be front and foremost on their minds. Um, so yeah, other than that, not much else to report. Um, it will be an interesting weekend, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, I was. <laughs> I was hoping that they were gonna um, paint these charts a bit into the into the close, but we, they didn't do too bad in stocks, to be honest. They didn't they didn't do the worst job. We are significantly off the lows. This is obviously a four hour. I mean, we're significantly off the lows of the day. Um, if we look at it, it percentage wise, um, oh, where is my area? Sorry, look at it percentage wise from the lows of today. Um, we are well. We currently sat a good one percent above. Um, and got nearly 2% above, but 1% moving stock markets is a lot of 1% move off the lows to get it looking better again is not bad um, and um, also it's not just a 1% move off this the fact that we didn't keep moving lower um, so yeah, uh, maybe that's as much of a painting of the charts as we can hope for but yeah, this weekend will be interesting maybe maybe um, things or something will be um, released before market open on Monday um, maybe the market will sniff that out over the weekend um we we shall we shall have to see um so yeah that is it really i will speak to you guys um probably in the morning i've actually got to go away tomorrow so there definitely won't be a tomorrow evening video um but there may um there may even not be a tomorrow morning video unless obviously a lot has happened if we're still trading this zone probably don't expect one um if you're in the telegram group i might um do some voice notes in there um to just just keep an eye on what is what is going on so yeah join the telegram group the link is in the description if you want to if you want to go over to there also any of you guys want to get the indicator um for free um this indicator here um just go over to the website and you can go down scroll down here to get the indicator request access um and then you just need to put in your details um in here your just your name email address your trading view id um, and then just click the disclaimer um, and yeah and request access I'll get an email and then I'll add you like I said I'm not I have to do these manual at the moment and I won't be in the office most of most of them um, this weekend until um, well late Sunday um, Sunday afternoon so um, 
if you don't get access straight away that would be why and as soon as i'm back i'll pick up the emails and i will get adding you um mm -hmm. so yeah that is it guys um they're not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will probably um speak to you guys um soon